Howdy folks, Charlie here from Christmas on Crestline. Thanks for tuning in. And thanks for tuning in to a bit of a DIY episode. Have you ever wondered how people put Christmas lights successfully in wine bottles, scotch bottles, whiskey bottles, made them look dang neat, but how in the world do they do that? I'm gonna teach you how to do it today. I'm gonna teach you how to do it in 10 bottles for a total of $8. This right now is a great time of the year for the Christmas light space. The pre-order sales are going on, they're going on fast and furious, and that is the cheapest time of the year to buy Christmas lights. One thing I love about this time of the year is all the new tech that comes out, all the neat things I didn't know existed uh, come out, and I get to lay my hands on new and neat stuff. This year's no different. Uh, Kapower. Kapawa. Power, a good friend of the show. They said, "Hey Charlie, uh, here's the the objects. Uh, here's the items that we have. Uh, what are you interested in taking a gander at?" And I saw this. And I'm like, you know what? I'm not a wine guy. I just never developed the taste uh, for the wine um, beverage. But you give me a scotch, you give me a bourbon, you give me a rye. We're good to go. Uh, I'll leave a link to this down in the description below. But Kapower uh, got a hold of me and. Uh, sent me these wine bottle lights. Now, I've seen these before, and I always thought, how in the world do people do that? But I just I just never wanted to take the time to figure out how they do it, because uh, I'm not a wine guy. But now, this is dang neat. So they come, and they come like this. Um, pretty simple, they're just, they're just kind of in there like that. And they are tied together, just like a bread tie on a loaf of bread. So you just untangle it, and they all just come out. They come pre-programmed with uh, many different settings. They come pre-programmed with a timer. So say you're gonna have a dinner party and you want this to set the ambiance. Um, and be it a, a talking point, be it something just to set the ambiance, be it a gift, be it an anniversary gift for your parents, be it a, an anniversary gift for your wife, a Christmas present, whatever, uh, these, are neat. The whole 10 pack, $8. Uh, now the, the corks are one size. You can't order a different size of cork. And I have here three different bottle styles, four different bottle styles, excuse me, that showed variances of the cork size. Now this is the closest thing I have to a wine bottle. The thing, and this is actually my favorite. I took a picture of this earlier and noticed it didn't pop very well on camera, but this is a vivid, beautiful color in this green Glen Levitt bottle. But the cork, that's it. That's all it will go into. Um, doesn't really fit down there. It looks kind of weird, but whatever. Now my Jack Daniels single barrel barrel, barrel proof, it fits perfectly. Uh, sits right there nice and snug. And my Remus, same thing. But my AD Laws, uh, what I had to do is just kind of wrap the lights around a little bit and just kind of set it in there because it will fall straight through. This is a wider uh, mouth base of a bottle compared to the other four. But the point is the lights, not necessarily the cork. If it happens to fix, fit cool, if not, it didn't bother me. Um, the wine, these are, these are designed for wine bottles, so I don't have a wine bottle. Um, but I think they're just dang neat. They are pre-programmed. What are they pre-programmed for? Well, you turn them on at noon and you walk away. What happens? Six hours later, 6 p.m., they just turn themselves off. Um, they are also pre-programmed with a timer, kind of like an alarm clock, because noon the next day, they come right back on. Uh, and they stay on for six hours and they turn themselves off and 18 hours later, they turn themselves back on. So they do have a built-in memory, which is cool. Uh, the biggest complaint I've heard about this on the Amazon reviews is that the battery only lasts a few weeks. So what I plan on doing, we're going to do an experiment together, you and me. I'm going to leave all four of these on. All four of these bottles are just going to stay on. And I will leave it down in the description below. I will update when each bottle is kaput. When, like, hey, the, the Glenn Levitt 12 bottle, that stopped working 18 days later. Or the AD Laws Castrate stopped working 92 days later, but the Remus that stopped working 
four days later. Uh, I'll leave all that down in the description, so come back to the video every once in a while if you're curious and see how long these all lasted. If you're watching this a year from now, the information's already down there for you. Uh, no big deal. But for $8, and I can do 10 of these and just give them away as presents, what I plan on doing after these experiments all done, I plan on washing all the labels off of these bottles and then legitimately giving these away as presents later in the year. So spoiler alert, if you're any of my family watching this, uh, come around Christmas time because you know what you're going to get. Uh, but for $8, and this is all you have to do, when I saw uh, lights and wine bottles, I wasn't quite sure how it worked. I figured it was battery operated at some point, somehow, but I didn't really take the time to investigate it. Uh, if you've done this before, if you've had these, if you buy these through the link down below and come back later and let me know how they worked for you. Let me know what bottle you put them in. Did you put them in a Glen Levitt Scotch bottle? Did you put them in a, a Chardonnay? What did you use them in? I am very, very curious about that. I like to see what other people do because that's what sparks my ideas. That's why I love, that's why I love the pre-sale order season, uh, pre-order season because all the new tech comes out. The convention uh, that was supposed to happen in March, the Trans World Convention, got pushed back to May. So I'm still, I'm fiending for new tech and I'm fiending for new ideas. So thank you to Kapower for reaching out and letting me try this new to me tech. So thank you very much for that. Like I said, let me know down in the description below if, uh, let me know down in the comments if you get these and what you think of them or if you've had them before or if you've done something different with a light in a bottle. I'm curious about all that. Uh, that's about it for me today. I'm Charlie. I'll see you in the next video.